Welcome back to the live show. My next guest tonight is the seer of seers, the sages of sages, the prognosticator of prognosticators, an election prophet extraordinaire. Please welcome Nate Silver. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, Nate, good to good. see you again. Isn't it lovely here? Yeah. Now, uh, everybody knows you. You are the founder and editor-in-chief of 538.com. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'm going to start with a question everybody asks you every time they see you. Who will win? Well, let's put it like this. So, Clinton came in with about a seven-point lead Tonight. in the polls before the debate. Okay. And the polls showed the scientific polls, and actually some of the unscientific polls also showed Clinton winning the debate, which is a first. But so it's as though she was ahead by 10 points in a football game, and Trump just threw a pick six. So it's not looking too good for Donald J. Trump. Okay. Um, here's the thing: you have been uh, surprisingly accurate over the last few elections. With one exception, with, one with, candidate. Who is the, the candidate you got wrong? With the, well, we evolved. We who, evolved. Who did we were you skeptical. get wrong? We, 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 you who, know. What, what was his name? Donald J. Trump. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, why did you get him wrong? Because we had silly ideas and didn't look at the polls. The polls were actually pretty accurate in the GOP primary and had him ahead the whole way. In fact, a couple of states like Iowa, where he was supposed to win, he didn't. But for the most part, he matched his polls. The problem is right now, he has only about 38% of the vote. Clinton has 45% of the vote. There are some undecideds left. I don't think he did a good job of persuading them tonight. Um, Who's undecided? Like, how many people are <laughs> undecided? Because I think at this point, yeah. those people don't need more information. They need more medication. <laughs> What? Well, no, who, who it is, is undecided? They are people who don't like either candidate, who really don't okay, like... I mean, there's fair. this guy named Evan McMullen in Utah who is literally someone no one ever heard of, and he's now leading in some polls of Utah because Utah is weird and for people the... are so fed up of the major candidates. Wait, wait so, so he's running for president in Utah? Yeah. What's his name? Evan McMullen. Evan McMullen. So there's a guy I've never heard of who might win the electoral college, in, the, the electoral vote in Utah? Yeah, like, literally no one ever heard of him. Um, what happened? Like seven days what ago. happens? Anything? Does that <laughs> seven days ago? I mean, you know, he moved from 10% to 31% in the polls in, in the span of about a week. Wow. Um, okay, um, what are the odds this is over on November 9th? Because Trump says, yeah, I'll let you know. I mean, people, I mean, Trump has occupied so much space in my head for a year and a half, and a lot of Americans had. I kind of think, I know this is not cable, so I can't swear, but people might have a certain reaction to tell him to maybe be quiet, to shut up after <laughs> November. Right? I mean, look, But he, he doesn't has... generally respond to those uh, requests. People are so exhausted by this election, though, and usually, look, even uh, Al Gore, John Kerry, Mitt Romney, who all lost the elections by relatively narrow margins, probably narrower than Trump did, they all stood down, and people didn't really want to hear from them in anything but a gracious way. Um, you know, Trump has 35% of the country that will believe everything he says. Mm -hmm. um, but people do get sick and tired of, of hearing the same act again and again and again. Um, are there any states out there that you're looking at that are sort of surprising, things, uh, that, stories you wouldn't expect on a state-by-state on a -state basis? I mean, right now, we're looking at a lot of traditionally red states like Texas and Arizona. Those states are actually closer than Pennsylvania or Colorado right now. That's what happens when you're down by seven points. It kind of swings pretty uniformly. And believe it or not, Trump is underperforming among the traditional GOP suburban base. So he gets some of them. Um, but if you only get 80% of Republican voters in a country where you usually get 92%, then that means you can lose a state like Arizona, for example. Um, all right. Well, thanks for giving us the information. Thank you. We'll see what happens on November 8th. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for the information. For more election coverage, visit 538.com. Nate Silver, everybody. We'll be right back.